hello hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel uh this is my home workout routine and this is just me in my living room with my son having a little fun before you know starting the magic so i'm going to show you all a simple routine i'm starting with the chloe things warm-up routine um it's very very good for you to warm up your body before you go transition into the real exercise it just warms you up and it's just perfect this is less than 10 minutes warm up and it's just simple exercises it just increases your heart, heart rate a little bit and then you can transition into the major workout routine so i do this from home i just started working out like i said in my last video and what have i been up to though ramadan came by for a whole month a whole 30 days and i had to stop workout i just started working out two weeks prior to that and now ramadan's over it's been over for like three weeks now and i'm just back in the game you can see that my belly is still pretty big from having a baby eight months ago can you believe that eight months like wow and i'm still trying i'm just you know doing all i can to lose the weight so far i've lost a couple of pounds i just want to show you all what i do and what i've been doing to lose it all most youtubers um that you know do workout routine they're already fit i just want to start my journey and show you all my progress you know in real time in real time really and that's why I, I am documenting all this for everyone to see or for my fans to see <laughs> for anyone who wants to see to watch it so i'm still doing the warm-up routine just a couple of more this is uh this move i think it's called i actually don't know what all these things are called but yeah just google just go on youtube and type chloe thing and you see so now i'm transitioning into upper body workouts i do this almost every time that i work out i work i try to work out like four days to five days a week if i can find the time and that's what i'm doing now i do 10 reps each um three sets 10 reps three sets and this is just working my arms my biceps and you know my upper body i think that's where i really really need to lose weight because i used to be so slim and tiny right before i got pregnant and now you know everything looks looks uh chubby <laughs> and i just want to get that slim waist back so i do all i can to to work my upper body and i'm using an 8.5 pound plate if i'm correct yeah it's from 8.5 pounds so it's really not that easy to lift and you can see me holding my tummy in that that basically means that you should keep your core engaged as you're doing these exercises because you need that core engagement for you to see reduction in, in in your belly and walk walk your cores so i'm starting all over again this is the first exercise if you're using a regular dumbbell you would be able to see very well what i'm doing but i have a barbell and this is what comes with it and so this is what i use as a second exercise just this is this mostly for your chest And the third i do five each on each arm for this one because it's kind of hard so 10 in total and then i drop it on the couch and then 10 on each arm as you can see yeah, i'm really tired like my arm, i think this was a final final rep and my arms were really tired at this point but i just kept pushing anyway Because you know, your girls girl just got to do what she got to do to lose this weight. Yeah, and that's me just stretching out my arms like, wow. <laughs> and that plate, 
for the overhead exercise it is 11.5 I think so that's just kind of equivalent to you know your 10 pound dumbbell so I'm just switching sets now taking something else okay now we'll move to um, side you know I'm just toning my side Somebody said um, the two parallel lines beside your stomach is what this helps with. I'm not sure. I just want to have a leaner waist. That's why I'm doing this. Now, I do watch a couple of uh, YouTubers that, uh, you know, give me different examples of... Um, home fitness that I can do from home and I've just been watching a lot just incorporating things from different people and yeah I and as time goes on I'll keep adding and adding more because you know as um, when you're lifting weight you have to keep increasing the amount of weight you lift so this is for my abs And onto my chicken wrap recipe. Just a quick dinner full of protein, very few carbs, more vegetables, just something that I enjoy eating sometimes. So now I'm cutting the chicken very, very small pieces. And now I'm adding the ingredients. So there's sea salt, just mixing it up with a spoon. This is how I, I like to mix up my, you know, um, chicken when I'm seasoning it. Just add the ingredients little by little until it saturates the whole thing. So now I'm had, adding garlic powder. Oh gosh, this, this turned out so yum <laughs> at the end of the day. But portion control is just key. You know, you can have a little bit of everything just portion control but chicken is a great source of protein and you need protein when you're working out so this is all purple seasoning goya just adding that in there stirring and stirring and stirring just to mix up everything well so to, to make sure every every cube of chicken is covered this is onion powder and adding some more it's really interesting really how, how much protein you need when you're working out when you're lifting weights when you're resisting training you just need to add all sorts and this is a bullion cube we call it maggie where i come from but here it's called bullion cube so I guess it's kind of the same as uh, chicken stock if when you're adding chicken stock to whatever you're cooking. But this is just more potent, you know. It brings out the flavor of whatever you're cooking and it's so nice. So nice. Like I said again, portion control is everything when you're when you're um you know planning a meal I, I make sure I have my dinner by 7 p.m. or maybe just a few minutes past 7 every day so that you know I don't go to bed with the full stomach and my food can digest well so now I'm just frying the chicken it's a lot of chicken though just put some oil in a skillet and it's frying so the oil will also add a little bit of calorie, you know, fat to your, to your meal, but it's okay. I think it's, it's been proven that it's way easier to burn fat than carb. So yeah. And since I eat by seven at night, I do intermittent fasting and eat around 12 the next 12 PM the next day. And that's about 16 hours. Or so of fasting or maybe 18 hours of fasting of intermittent intermittent fasting so that really you know gives my body time to burn whatever 
fat or carb and it, it, it just keeps burning slowly and slowly until until you know until everything's gone i just can't wait for that day when i check the scale and i'm back to the number that i want so the chicken is drying there was a lot of water that came out so i'm just staring and staring just keep staring to make sure that you know every side it gets every side gets the heat from the skillet and now I'm just turning some parts so that um, the chicken can brown on all sides and here it is it's already browned very delicious really with all that spice that I added very delicious y'all should try it this is the ingredient for my chicken wrap we have spinach we have uh, uh, tomato bald egg i have a tortilla wrap here this is a flour tortilla and now i'm just arranging the tomatoes you, you can put it put it put it on the tortilla in whatever order you like this is just convenient for me today and that's the spinach the bald egg it's just one egg that I'm using and you can put more if you want and then that's ranch ranch is about 160 calories per tablespoon so I try to put very little and I, I'm adding another another sauce that's a chicken I wanted to put cabbage but I you know thought twice about it again and I didn't put it but, but there were there were like some some pieces there and this is a uh, Italian seasoning no Italian uh, I don't know I can't remember what it is but something Italian and just to avoid that whole um you know um for to avoid too much mess I'm just wrapping this in the foil and making sure that everything is you know firm in there and then I'll unwrap slowly as I eat doesn't that look gorgeous just green and and uh, chicken I really really love this meal and there it is this is the end of my video just try this recipe at home